So you know those bosses you fight in the Mega Man series? There's eight of them in every game, all of them the man of something or other. Over here in the West, these guys are called Robot Masters. The term originated from the instruction manual for Mega Man 3 and has been used in the series ever since. The term was used officially as recently as 2020, with the re-release of the Mega Man Robot Master Field Guide Updated Edition. A Robot Master is differentiated from your average robot by its mental capacity. Unlike the more common robots found across the world, which possess a very simple and rudimentary thought process, Robot Masters have a mental capacity similar to or even surpassing your average human being. But, like me, you may be surprised to learn that the term Robot Master is mostly a Western phrase. Over in Japan, these robots are primarily referred to as the Dr. Wily numbers, named as such because they were made by Dr. Wily and because they all have a dedicated serial number. It's a very minor aspect to the series lore, but an important one nonetheless. Even after the eight years it took for us to get Mega Man 11, you can still see a Robot Master's serial number front and center when selecting a stage. It's not a detail that the series developers are going to let fall by the wayside. Unlike fucking monsteropolis. So considering the developers themselves think this detail is deserving of their attention, I'd say it's deserving of mine as well. Let's really analyze this system from both an in-universe perspective and a metatextual one. See if we can't figure out what makes this system tick. And what better place to start than from the beginning? No, before that. It's the year 2000X, and the foremost authority on modern robotics, one Dr. Thomas Light, gets to work on creating highly advanced robots. He begins with a prototype, which, uh... I've just finished my first prototype robot. Stop! I command you to stop! It didn't work out, but after that, he builds two robot siblings, a lab assistant named Rock, and a housekeeping robot named Roll. These two robots are the first in the Dr. Light Numbers series, or DLN for short. Side note, in Japan, Dr. Light is instead known as Dr. Right, and as such, the series code is written as DRN instead. Rock is labeled DLN001, and Roll is labeled DLN002. From there, Dr. Light built six more robots, all intended for jobs that were considered too dangerous for the average person, such as a demolition robot, an arctic investigator, a power plant manager, Cutman. These light numbers were the first robot masters. They spanned from DLN003 to DLN008, and with their help, we can usher in a new era of peace for humanity. Oh god, but why are they doing that? They're not supposed to be doing that. Angry at Dr. Light's success, resident bastard Dr. Wily steals and reprograms the six robot masters and attempts to take over the world. Rock volunteers to turn himself into a fighting robot, and thus, Mega Man is born. So, now we've got the basic framework for the numbering system. Three initials to indicate the robot's creator, and an ID number to show what order they were built in. Real quick, we need to talk about Mega Man Powered Up. See, the first Mega Man game only had six Robot Masters, but every game after had eight. So when time came to remake Mega Man 1 for the PSP, two new bosses were added, Time Man and Oil Man. Early promotional material for Mega Man Powered Up erroneously listed Oil Man as DLN009 and Time Man as DLN010. This is largely disregarded as non-canon, seeing as this was never mentioned again and it kind of requires that every Robot Master introduced after Mega Man 1 has their ID number offset by 2 to accommodate the change. And we can see from the games that came out after Powered Up that this isn't the case. Although, fun fact, years later the Archie Comics adaptation would give these two robots the serial codes DLN00A and 00B, stating that they were highly experimental robots that were never finished. I feel like these codes fit pretty well. It kind of groups Time Man and Oil Man with the rest of the single digit numbers, while also differentiating them from the main line since they were introduced in a spin off game. Also, as you'll see shortly, data introduced in supplemental material is gonna be a reoccurring theme throughout this video. Anyways, Wily gets his butt kicked, the Robo Masters are rebuilt and turned back into good boys, and peace returns to the city. For one year, because Dr. Wily, ever determined to prove his superiority over Dr. Light, decides to build eight Robot Masters of his own. These are the first Robot Masters built exclusively by Dr. Wily and explicitly for combat. They are the Dr. Wily numbers, numbered DWN 009 through 016. So here we can make our first major observation regarding Robot Master serial codes. The series code changed from DLN to DWN to signify that a different doctor created this second batch, but the ID number continued counting from where the previous series left off. I feel like it would have made more sense if the DWN series started counting from 1 and was considered separate from the DLN series, but I suppose it's not really a problem this early in the series. 
I mean, why split hairs when only 16 of these things exist? For now. And to be honest, I think it's perfectly in character for Dr. Wily to continue building on top of Dr. Light's series as a kind of insult. Dr. Wily is consistently characterized as not just thinking that he's a genius, but that he needs to prove it as well. He wants to show that anything Light can do, he can do better. That being said, great news! Wily's a reformed man, he's turned over a new leaf, and he's even working together with Dr. Light to make seven more Robot Masters. That's right, seven instead of eight. But by complete coincidence, Wily finds the remains of an extraterrestrial ninja robot who he takes for his own to complete the set. Now, officially, these third numbers are classified as DWN 17 through 24, even though they were a combined effort between both doctors. And this feels like a good time to bring up some Rockman manga, specifically Rockman Megamixed and the other adaptations by author Hitoshi Ariga, because these manga take the liberty of reclassifying the Robot Masters in ways that, frankly, make much better sense. In Rockman Remix and the initial release of Rockman Megamix, the third numbers were reclassified as DRWN for Dr. Wright and Wily numbers. But later, when Megamix was reprinted in 2003, among some other changes, their classification was reverted back to DWN, as in the context of this manga, Dr. Light had no involvement with the creation of the third numbers. However, for the games, I think DRWN, or DLWN, would be the perfect way to classify these Robot Masters. They're the only set of robots that were co-developed by both Doctors, and there's actually already a symbol for Wright and Wily. You can even see it used in-game in Magnet Man stage. But fan preference aside, officially, these robots are classified as DWN. Moving on to Mega Man 4, we're introduced to the third wheel, Dr. Mikhail Sergeyevich Cossack. He created his own eight Robot Masters, but was then strong-armed by Wily into sending them after Mega Man. His robots are numbered DWN, Observation number two, the system makes no sense. These robots were built by Dr. Cossack, so shouldn't these letters change to reflect that? I mean, they're officially categorized as DWN because Wily reprogrammed them, but I think that logic is flimsy as hell. Because so were Dr. Light's robots. The Light numbers were also reprogrammed by Wily, but they're still classified as DLN, so why aren't Cossack's robots classified under something like DCN? And go figure, that's exactly what Rockman Megamix did. Classifying them as DCN, a much better change, albeit a non-official one. So anyways, just like before, these robots' ID numbers continue counting from where the previous batch left off, officially classified as DWN 25-32. And I'm just gonna go ahead and skip Mega Man 5, because the eight Robot Masters in that game were built by Wily, so DWN 33 through 40. Now by the time Mega Man 6 rolls around, Robot Masters are being manufactured worldwide by different people. The World Robot Alliance decides to hold the first annual robot tournament, sponsored by the mysterious philanthropist Mr. X. These robot contestants are from all over the world, built by a variety of different scientists. But of course, all eight of them are reprogrammed by Wily in an effort for world domination, so they all get classified as DWN 41 through 48. Again, I have the same complaints about this that I did with the Cossack numbers and how DWN is completely ill-fitting for this batch of robots. Picking up slack like usual, Megamix reclassifies them as the Mr. X numbers because they were the eight contestants in Mr. X's first annual robot tournament, which I feel makes more sense. However, there's actually something else that I'm more concerned with. Up until this point, Robot Masters were considered cutting-edge technology. I wasn't too bothered with putting them in the same numbered list, despite being made by different people, because it could have been assumed that these were the only Robot Masters in existence, so why not put them all in one list? But by Mega Man 6, it's implied that there are enough Robot Masters being made worldwide for there to be a robot tournament. By this point, I feel like there has to be Robot Masters that we never even see in the series. Either that, or these robots qualified for the tournament because they were the only eight robots available. But if these guys aren't the only new Robot Masters, then why are they the only ones considered part of the same numbered series as the rest of the Robot Masters? Well, we can assume that at this point in the series, the purpose of the serial codes has evolved from keeping track of what Robot Masters exist, to keeping track of what Robot Masters are important to the story. And I also want to point out that in the Archie comics, it's said that DWN45, Plant Man, was created by one Dr. Pedro Astill, who originally designed him as Dr. Astill number 001. This suggests that some robots would have more than one serial code. And while the Archie comics aren't canon, I think this idea makes a lot of sense, as many Robot Masters were built for a specific purpose before being turned evil. So in the Archie continuity, Plant Man would be the first robot made by Dr. Astill, but the 45th robot that Wily sent against Mega Man. 
To me, the possibility that Robot Masters can have more than one serial code makes the whole system feel a little bit more believable, so I think it's something to keep in mind as we go forward. Although at the same time, maybe we should take a step back for a second. You could say that by making all of these observations that I'm looking into this system way too much, it's obvious that, from a meta perspective, Robot Master serial codes only exist to organize boss characters from a video game series. The reason the Robot Masters in Mega Man 6 are the only ones counted in this system is because they're the only Robot Masters that you fight in the game. There likely wasn't any greater thought put behind it. So I want to ask, do these serial codes even exist in-universe? Are these robots officially classified this way within the context of the story, or does this system only exist for the players and developers who wish to keep track of these fictional characters? Well, the only time serial codes are ever mentioned in-game is during the ending of Mega Man 3. The game flips backwards through Dr. Light's list of robots, revealing the original prototype Robot Master to be Proto Man DLN000. We can also see that the way these robots are numbered lines up exactly with the numbers they were given in the first game's instruction poster. The only other hint towards the in-universe existence of this system is via the Wily Weapons Archive in Mega Man 10. Every time you fight this thing, it emulates three Robot Masters from previous games. For every robot it emulates, there's a corresponding block in the background which lights up. If you count from the top left, these lights line up exactly with the robot's ID numbers, but this could be more of an easter egg than it is in-universe confirmation. Ultimately, I feel like it could go either way, so I'm going to choose to keep operating under the assumption that these serial codes do in fact exist in-universe, because trying to make perfect sense of a system whose developers never intended for anyone to think so hard about is something I find really fun to do. And even if I'm just seeing lore where there isn't any, or where the developers never intended there to be, using the Mega Man series as a base for creativity is part of why I love it so much. But if these codes do exist in-universe, then we have to ask who's keeping track? The obvious answer is Dr. Wily, since he's the one modifying everyone, but I always imagined it could be some governmental force keeping track of the Robot Master related incidents we see in the games. Obviously, this is leaning more into fan theory territory, but there is the World Robot Alliance. This is a minor character group mentioned in the Japanese instruction manual for Mega Man 6, who organized the first annual robot tournament with funding from Mr. X. The Rockman 9 arranged soundtrack actually came with a one-shot manga which showed that the WRA had a hand in the events leading up to Mega Man 9, though this is dubiously canon. Either way, I feel like it's believable that an organization like this would exist and be documenting each of Wily's world domination plots and the robots involved with them. I didn't know about the WRA until I started researching this video, and I was surprised to learn that they weren't just a one-off character group. I feel like if we see more adaptions of the Mega Man series in the future, it would be really cool to see them make a reappearance. Though, I'm getting pretty off track here, so let's just revise our observations and move on. Number 1. The numbered list keeps track of Robot Masters who were used by Dr. Wily to try and take over the world. Number 2. The series code signifies if a Robot Master was built by Dr. Light, DLN, or built by Dr. Wily, DWN. And lastly, number 2B, I guess, if a reprogrammed Robot Master was built by someone other than Light or Wily, they're considered DWN. So with that squared away, let's move on. Not to Mega Man 7, but to the Mega Man Game Boy series instead. Known as Rockman World in Japan, the Game Boy Mega Man games are not ports, but rather games which reuse the NES assets to tell original stories. Of particular note is that three of these games each introduce a rival robot specifically designed to kill Mega Man. Anchor, Punk, and Ballade, fittingly named the Mega Man Killers, are considered to be part of their own series. MKN 1, 2, and 3, also known in Japan as the Rockman Killer numbers. The Game Boy games also introduce Quint, a version of Mega Man who was kidnapped from the future, brought back in time, modified by Dr. Wily, and given a pogo stick. I don't get what the plan was. Anyways, Quint was never given any official classification. Rockman Megamix briefly considers him as special variation number one, but this is non-canon and is kind of said by Wily only in passing, so I don't know about this one. And if Quint is just Mega Man from the future, I guess that would make his official code DLN001, same as Mega Man? Finally, Game Boy Mega Man 5 introduces not one robot, but an entire new lineup of bosses known as the Star Droids. These alien robots were found by Dr. Wily inside some mysterious ancient ruins off screen. Just like Shadow Man, they were then modified to do Wily's bidding. 
In Japan, the star droids are called the Space Rulers, and as such, are officially listed as Space Ruler number 001 through 009. While we're talking about spin-offs, let's also talk about Mega Man The Wily Wars for the Sega Genesis. This game introduced three bosses themed after an old, influential Chinese novel called Journey to the West. This trio was dubbed the Genesis Unit, named after the console they were introduced on, and they're officially numbered as the Wily Wars numbers 1, 2, and 3. In Japan, Wily Wars was instead called Rockman Mega World, named after the Sega Mega Drive, and the Genesis Unit was instead the Mega World Core, abbreviated as MWN instead of WWN. I am so sick of saying W. Last spin-off of note is the Japanese exclusive Super Adventure Rock Band for the PS1. In this game, Wily introduces a new robot as Shin translates to new or true, so NWN for new Wily number? I I don't know. Let's just move on. Who the f starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. Let's get back on track with Mega Man 7 and 8. Wily is openly behind the events of both of these games. Some of these robots were stolen and reprogrammed, others were entirely built by Dr. Wily. Either way, these robots are numbered DWN 49 through 64. Oh, right, and we also have to talk about Bass, who's officially classified as Special Wily Number 1. Dude, you are just making stuff up at this point. Mega Man 9 involves eight robots made by Dr. Light, something we haven't seen since the first game, so these robots are classified as DLN 65 through 72 and not DWN. Glad to know that after 21 years, Capcom remembered a little bit of consistency. These robots turned evil out of protest for their government mandated expiration date. Apparently, robots in the Mega Man universe are given an expiration time limit after which they're required by law to be shut down and decommissioned. This was never mentioned before or after Mega Man 9, and it kind of raises a few questions. Like, we never met these robots before Mega Man 9, but apparently they've already been around long enough for their expiration date to have come and gone. Either these guys were off screen during previous Mega Man games, or enough time has passed between the end of Mega Man 8 and the beginning of Mega Man 9 for this to make sense. And fun fact, the Archie comics tried to prepare for this plotline by introducing some of these robot masters way early in advance, but they give them the same serial codes even though that many robot masters haven't even been introduced yet. Like, they try to hand wave this by saying Dr. Light jumped ahead in his notes, but like, what does that mean? Are they implying that Dr. Light designed 56 other unseen robot masters since his first batch, and that the ID numbers of the robots seen in Mega Man 9 just coincidentally line up exactly with when Wily would reprogram? them. Clearly this line wasn't meant to be taken so seriously, and it was just supposed to be a reference to the games, but like, come on man. Anyways, lastly in Mega Man 10, the eight bosses were all built by different people just like in Mega Man 6. They were infected with Wily's Roboenza virus, so they all get categorized as DWN 73 through 80. Our observations are actually starting to hold up, although we still haven't talked about Mega Man in base. The plot of Mega Man in base is that a powerful robot named King has thrown Wily out of his own castle and declared a robot revolution. Eight robots of various origin either join King's army willingly or are strong-armed by King into joining by force. Two of these robots are returning bosses from Mega Man 8, Astro Man and Tengu Man. Another robot, Cold Man, is implied to have been built by Dr. Light, as he was originally designed to store some DNA samples in Dr. Light's lab. These Robot Masters get their own category, officially classified as the King Number Series, or KGN 001 through 006. The number goes up to 6 instead of 8, because for some reason, Astro Man and Tengu Man weren't given King numbers. But if we're operating off of the prior assumption that some robots have multiple serial codes, I'm sure Astro Man and Tengu Man could just be labeled as KGN 7 and 8. Also, weirdly enough, King himself never received an official serial code. I feel like KGN000 fits well enough, but he was never given any official classification by Wily. Because yeah, it's ultimately revealed that King was created by Wily before turning on him and kicking him out of his own castle. For our observations, this still lines up pretty well. The reason these bosses aren't grouped up with the rest is because Wily wasn't the instigator of this plot. These robots were recruited by King against Wily's wishes, so they wouldn't be classified as Wily numbers. And at long last, we've made it to Mega Man 11, the most recent game in the franchise. Just like in Mega Man 6 and 10, these bosses were all made by different manufacturers. And just for fun, the game even states the names of these different groups. It's a nice way to help color in the Mega Man universe. We even get a small cameo by Cossack Robot Laboratories. It says here that they were the ones who invented Tundra Man. Two of the robots even have the same manufacturer. Block Man and Impact Man were both apparently created by Nakaume Heavy Machinery. 
Now, we don't know who that is, but we can learn some stuff about them. In the intro cutscene, Blockman says this. All thanks to you, Doc. You built me rock solid! So with that, we can assume that Dr. Light has some kind of connection with Nakaume, but wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, Blockman was built by Dr. Light? But it says DWN81 right there. Why is he considered DWN? In Mega Man 1 and 9, even robots reprogrammed by Wily were still considered DLN if Dr. Light made them, so why is Blockman DWN and not DLN? Observation number four, the system makes no sense. Fuck this stupid game franchise. All right, all right, let's just wrap this up. We have one more robot to cover. Zero. While I don't think he was ever classified officially, there are some background details in Mega Man Zero 3 that says stuff like Doctor's Last Number and Doctor W Number Infinity. This makes it more than likely that Zero's official serial code is DWN Infinity. And that's not even a number. So, the original summary I had for this video was that the Robot Master serial numbers make more sense in a metatextual sense than they do as an in-universe classification that the system works well enough for fans and developers to keep track of the classic series' boss characters, but for it to be an in-universe system requires some suspension of disbelief. But also, sometimes in my spare time I like to watch videos by CGP Grey, and if his videos about real-world classification systems have taught me anything, it's that systems like this are always finicky and strange. Every system has unique case scenarios and outliers and exceptions to the rule. I mean, if we look at the main list of Robot Masters, the one I said was defined as robots who were used by Wily to take over the world, that list still includes Roll. Roll was never turned evil, she was the only number never fought by Mega Man, and I wouldn't even consider her to be a Robot Master, but she's still in the list because, well, when the list was created, it was meant to keep track of something else. So maybe the system isn't necessarily unbelievable. Maybe the system is more realistic than I ever could have given it credit for. And for those of you curious, the honor of Robot Master number 69 goes to Jewelman. Man.